What is the biggest, what is the greatest lie ever created? What is the most vicious obscenity ever perpetrated on mankind? Slavery, the Holocaust, dictatorship. No, it's the tool with which all that wickedness is built. And that is, and, and Ashton says that is altruism. And, and yes, I, 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 I put a twin to altruism. Because altruism almost always comes and certainly was originated from Mysticism. So the combination of mysticism and altruism are the biggest lie ever created. The existence of God, the idea that we must abide by something written in an ancient book and live by it, the idea that there are people who have the truth, the truth, and we must be subservient to them, and of course, what God and what all these people demand of us is that we sacrifice, that we give up our personal interests, that we give up our own lives for the sake of others, for the sake of God, for the sake of the tribe, for the sake of the nation, for the sake of Allah, for the sake of something. As long as it's not you, as long as you're not being self-interested, as long as you're sacrificing, as long as you're living for others. So epistemologically and metaphysically, the great evil that's out there is mysticism. There are a whole variety of mysticism, from Plato to, of course, the thing that impacts us most in the West, Christianity, to everything in between and extensions to New Age, to ultimately to communism, and Nazism, which I consider just forms of mysticism, forms of Platonism. Epistemologically and metaphysically, that is the great lie. That is the evil. And of course, again, a mystic, an authoritarian, how does he rule? Really rules by making you feel guilty for existence, for existing. He rules by making you committed not to your own happiness, but to your own sacrifice. He rules by telling you there's something more important than yourself. He rules by telling you that you must live for others. Fill in the blank who those others are. It could be anybody. So yes, altruism is the destroyer of the world. And uh, I think Ayn Rand said, we are dying of an orgy of altruism. Altruism is everywhere. The, the idea, I mean, just, just look today at everything from, from the intersectionality where there's a competition and who is more needy, who is more miserable, who is more discriminated against, who is more deserving of your sacrifice across the entire spectrum of the left, which is dominated by a philosophy of need and need and need. So absolutely, it is altruism that is, um, that is killing this world, killing this world. And altruism does not mean being nice to people. And of course, the same is true on the right, which expects you to sacrifice for the state, sacrifice for God, sacrifice for the community, sacrifice for the common good. One thing the left and right completely agree with is the idea, the primacy, moral primacy of altruism and they preach it at every opportunity and at the end of the day it is the way in which they you know control people it's the way in which they control the culture 
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.